right, let's see if this works. Oh, oh, are we there? Looks like it's going. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Yay. Awesome. All right, well, um, maybe I should start talking when it's actually eight. See, how do I see how many viewers we have? It's actually eight according to my clock. Oh, hang on. Let me let me scroll down so I can see. Well, it's actually eleven according to my clock. But... Oh wait, I have no way of seeing how many viewers we have. Huh. Okay. Just start talking. Okay, cool. Um, welcome to Minecraft Mondays, uh, part of Cloud Boat Armada. Um, taking over for Daniel, who couldn't be with us today, is uh, Xander, and with us today are Elena and Daniel. Uh, wait. Right. Okay. Just, just roll with it. Um, sure. So, here's the deal. I'm using my account that's not mine. I have all these items that I never got, and I don't know what they're good for. I put most of them in the chest because they look rather expensive. Um, I don't apparently have a horse, although I guess this guy I can use. And I don't really have much of a plan for what to do today, aside from explore the desert. So... And also we have yes, about, it works. We have about three players. Um, mm. Right now, we might get more. I might draw I was people thinking in I might with my, try to go find the swamp and kill slimes. With my sheer charisma. Wait, we have a swamp? No, I'm saying I want to try to find one. Oh, find a swamp. Maybe that can be our goal today, is to find a swamp. But my goal right now is to go to bed. Yes. I'm So I'm right now at the Spiral Tower, which I believe... Daniel made. I don't know if Daniel's voice will be joining us today. I think that was the main issue. Um, and the bed's up at the top of it. Fortunately, I put in some safety railings. But when you do get to the top, you get... get a pretty nice view of, well, you would get a pretty nice view if the game bothered to load anything beyond my immediate vicinity. Um, you get a nice view of that immediate vicinity. What is that? Someone made a tower here. And if the game loaded the whole thing, I'm sure we'd see miles and miles and miles of forest. I worked it out, actually. I think I worked out how long this road is. I forgot what I got uh, in real life. I forgot what I got to. I mean, like, each block is, what, three feet high? One meter? Yeah, yeah, meter. And it's about 2,000, so yeah, about two kilometers from the spawn to the, uh, oh, no, two kilometers at least, maybe like two miles from the spawn to the, uh, to the village that we're all hanging out at. And let's go to bed. Wow. I've been in bed. It actually seems a lot longer than two miles, because I've walked two miles, and it didn't take yeah. me that long. <laughs> Yeah, two miles is like hardly anything. Yeah. In fact, it seems like we walk slower in this game, but that can't be right. Cause... Oh well. <laughs> Where are you, by the way? At the village. Oh, this will move to treehouse. Protected. Okay, looks like Daniel's not joining us after all. Let's see. Oh. This horse sucks. By the way, I accidentally let loose the horse that was in the way of the cow pen. So I thought I would be able to ride it into the stable. But I can't. I'm channel. not sure why. So it's like roaming around the planes nearby the village now, and I'm afraid it's going to disappear. Huh. I'm considering just building a fence around it where it is. That poor horse. Oh, hi, Daniel. <laughs> so, um, I noticed you had, uh, gold nugget, a gas tier, some melon seeds, obsidian, nether rack, and a blaze rod, and some rail and a minecart. Some of those sounded important items, so if you want to get them back, I put them in the chest next to the spiral tower. How's that sound? Alright, that's good. Yeah. Anyway, 
Oh, hey, it's Boltforge. Hello, Boltforge. You have, like, just an iron pick, or I guess I could just use this diamond thing. I guess if I have to use diamond. I've never actually had a diamond pick run out. Like, it's it's always just, it either dies, I either die with it and it falls into lava, or... <laughs> As is the natural end state for most objects in the universe. Or, or it just ends up in a chest and, you know, gathers dust forever. Oh, hey, Applejack's here, too. Oh, wait! Twitch... Oh, if you synchronize on Twitch, the chat goes directly into the, the uh, your Minecraft screen. Oh, that's cool! That's so cool! That's so much better than how we've been doing it, where you have to look look directly at the window to see who's chatting, and of course no one does that. Yeah. Because why would you look away from the game you're playing? I wish it was showing up on mine. Yeah, well, I mean, if it's, it's on the, twi the Twitch window. Yeah, well, why would I look away from the game I'm playing? Exactly, exactly. Chop down this smug little tree right here. Thinks it's so hot, high and mighty. Photosynthesizing, making oxygen. Let's see you do that when you're part of a road. So normally a lot of my time in this game is spent road building, but that's pretty boring to watch, so um, I'm gonna try and not do a whole lot of that today. And FYI, as always, there is a significant delay between uh, what I'm saying and what gets broadcast on Twitch. So there might, we might have some context issues when we're having conversations this way. Uh, by the way, well, I guess, does anyone know whose house this is over there? Because it's a pretty nice house, and you have a pretty nice uh, tunnel into a mine area that I was exploring a while ago. I don't even know where you are. Oh, I'm at Cheat Bay, actually. Oh, yeah, I've been curious about the new structure at Cheat Bay. Yeah, who built it? If only they had left a sign. It's serious. But it's cool, it's got a, I don't know how they did it, but there's a, there's a, there's a tunnel going down in the ocean that's dry inside and Neat. uh it goes into a deep mine and that's still areas of it unexplored oh that's where i found that uh that skeleton spawning dungeon room that i had that issue with um that is relatively under control that's a lie it's not under control at all but it is looted so we'll just leave it at that Oh, is that your house, Boltforge? Yeah, I didn't take anything. Alright. Yeah, I figure if it's something you want to share, you put it somewhere where we share it. Okay, so... Ooh. Somebody widened this path. Get out of the way, tree! It's a cool house, Boltforge. Actually, let's go have a look at it. Elena, where are you right now, by the way? The village. What, what? Oh, the village? Yeah. I was, wasn't sure where to go. Should I come You're meet you or what? 17? Yeah, let's yeah, come and meet me. One. We've only got two people logged in here. You might as well be in the same spot. Hey, Eddie. Oh, the tunnel is a mob grinder. Ah, well, I hope I didn't mess anything up. All I did was go in, mine some like coal and iron out of it, and go investigate an unlit dungeon room. So, I don't even know what this material is. Is this wool? Is your- your floor is made of wool. Food and stuff. Ores and items. Cool. And you have a wall of furnaces. That's pretty high tech. Oh, yeah, and by the way, there's the, uh... There is the massive portal that Daniel saw fit to make. I think we decided in the end that building a giant portal of this size conferred no advantages whatsoever over building a small one and wasted I don't know how much obsidian. And as you can see, there's a cloud going through it right now. Into like, the nether. Uh, you know, that would be pretty cool if clouds actually went into the nether 
because that's how we're terraforming the place. <laughs> Making it rain. Put out all the fires. Oh my god, that would be like the most yeah. destructive environment change. I guess. Uh, Elaine and well, I were talking we, once about once we build uh, another one on the other side that's just as huge. We can uh, use uh, fishing and then bring Gus over into the overworld. Who's Gus? Um, I don't want oh, gas. to bring Gus over. Well, bring Gus over. He's pretty cool. Uh, oh, wait. Is this the mob grinder, or what is this? I don't know what a mob grinder is. You know what? I'm not... I don't... I don't know a lot of things about this game. I'm gonna level with all my viewers here. It's usually Daniel that, uh, gives the commentary... And, oh wait, oh wait, this goes right into uh, Fire Island, that's cool. So, um, there was a time in uh, a previous server, a previous at life, um, uh, Alex Eisner made a, a sort of like a, like a lodge out in the middle of nowhere, like a wizard tower, and it used a, um, a uh, carpet, much like the one in there. And we all came in there to sort of, we were on a quest and we all came in there to spend the night, but... He had no we, beds. We didn't bring beds, so we tore up the carpet. And I don't know if we think, thought that no one could tell the difference or that it was just as good, but um, we decided to replace the carpet with uh, the next, the, the, a similar looking thing that we could find, which was snow. So we replaced all his carpet with snow, and I think we left a sign saying, our bad, we'll fix it later. We never fixed it later. <laughs> but yeah, we ransacked his house and turned his floor into snow. Tunnel in the ocean and downstairs to kill the monster. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna do that today, but it sounds cool. I'm just gonna shear some of this sheep and then we'll we'll head out, get moving. I guess I should put you in the stable. Get you in the stable, which doesn't seem to be an option. Here, we'll do it this way. Whee! Yeah, I don't know what the deal with horses and jumping are, because sometimes they just can't jump over things. Which is kind of inconvenient, because that's how you, you get them to stay in one spot, if you don't have a lead, which I think there's like one lead in this game, and it's being used right now. So. Yeah, that's why I want to find the, uh, the swamp. Oh yeah, you have plans, don't you? I have designs. Do you know if there's any kind of like logic to the biome distribution? If like certain ones are closer I than others? I think if that there is like, yeah, I think that what it is is there's um, a, a pattern whereby there's a certain amount of like um, wetness and really? like a wetness to aridness scale and also a coldness to hotness scale huh. and different degrees, different ranges uh, will get you certain biomes, but I. I'm not sure what cha makes those things change or not. Because I remember in an old server, it was just like completely random patchwork. Anyway, I'm Right, asleep. and like, okay, I need to find a bed then. Okay, here's one. Are you on your way over? Uh, theoretically. <laughs> Is that a no? I, I just don't know where the... Um, I kind of just went on the road and then got lost, as usual. Oh, uh, I guess I should put up signs. I expected the road to work a little bit differently, like it would be a kind of a net, and all the nodes would be named, but uh, we decided to use it to go over about 2,000 different, uh... Nodes? Yeah. Yeah. I, I I'm kind of surprised by how frequently you're, you're putting the roads. I was expecting them to be more sparse. Yeah. Good job naming the ones you named, though. I'm at Spruce Edge again. Spruce Which Edge? Way to okay, the... well then I know where yeah. that is. Yeah, but you still got a ways. Let me know when Which you get to Which direction do I go? Um, okay. you just go through the spruce forest. Okay. Is this 
a node? I can't even tell anymore. It is a node. Okay, I guess I should make it a one. What are we doing today? Um, don't have much of a plan. I'm gonna explore and see if I can get to this desert biome that I've heard about, but I haven't actually visited myself. And I think the long-term goal would be to find a swamp. So we can do something involving making horse leashes. I don't know how that all works, but um, yeah, that's the idea. So today, exploration. Exploration. Someone really like went to town on these on these uh, trees. It's not like they cut them down neatly. It's like they diced them up haphazardly. <laughs> like there's floating bits and pieces all over the place. I don't know who would do that or why. It's just kind of strange. Yeah, I'm seeing just bits of trees everywhere, but I was assuming it was just like we're only going to chop down the bits that are in the way of the highway. Well, that was my idea. That's the the area where you are. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hang on. That's the window for a sec. I don't know if that's going to show up on the stream. Showing everyone your cluttered desktop? Uh, no, I'm, I'm using Windows 8 for the first time. Well, not the first time. The first time was months ago, but... I'm still deciding which parts of it are useless and which parts are just completely useless. Like the whole <laughs> business with the apps and trying to be like a tablet on your laptop. And uh, going back to like a big app list from your desktop. I don't understand. What it does not is. sound super useful. No, it doesn't. I mean, you can ignore it most of the time anyway, except when you accidentally hit a hotkey. Oh shit, I forgot to bring my map. Oh, I'm dumb. Wait, you have a map? Yeah, I made a map, but I, now I'm not filling it out with any of the information I should be filling it out with because I left it in the chest at home. Huh. Normally I'd put staircases in, but I don't want to deal with that today. That's probably the most tedious part of this road building exercise. Also, I don't know if you noticed in the inn at City 17, there's um, some pretty sweet maps up on the wall. I did, I did notice those. Those are pretty sweet. Um, Boltforge is telling me of, we heard that Windows 8 can't run Minecraft. That may, would make no sense if true, and I'm happy to report it is not true. So we can put that over to rest. I don't think even Windows I've reached spiral tower here. Clue. Oh, okay, so you're pretty close. Pretty close. I need to make another shovel. I go through so many shovels making these roads. <laughs> I have no idea. Welcome to the Lost Woods. Something, 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 something. Go forward, go backward, go the other way if you feel like it. But that is dumb. The skull kid. Play to him with your ocarina. Something happens, then something happens, something happens, then. What happened? Because I forgot. <laughs> da, 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 da. This game was really I, I'm in cheap, eh? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm like right over the, the mound. Um. It says this way to a desert village and temples. I haven't yeah. been there in quite a while. I have never been there. Well, let us go. Yes, 
game was released in 1990. Hey, there you are. You're a robot. I'm not a robot. You, you look like a robot. No. I guess except for your face. That looks... I'm not sure what to make of that. I'm a broken image. It, it is your face, though. Well, yeah, I mean, that's... It's just a little, uh, right a little part of it. It is. Stone. This game was pre released in 1997 for Christmas time. Did you get it? If you pre ordered it, you got a gold star just to show off to your nerdy friends. I wouldn't know I had a PlayStation. I spend all my time on SimCity. So should I be like helping you build the road? Is um, that what we're doing here? You know, I'm torn about that. You know what? Yes. I'm going to say yes. Help me build the road. Okay. Because the stream's watching me. The less I do of this, the more interesting it is for them. We could just go. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go. It's you know, it's an old habit at this point. I've made so much of these roads. No, I I understand. It's a good habit to get into. It's just I'm gonna make an exception for trees that are in the way because it's really Fair hard enough. to get around on horseback when there are trees in the way. Yeah, I have, I have had that problem. It has not been fun. So maybe you could help me. Um, so you you can see where the uh, the path is. If just let's say two squares on either side, clear out any trees you see. Okay. If you have a spare axe. What? I do have an axe. Do you have a spare axe? I, I didn't bring a spare, unfortunately. Um, there's a, there's a crafting oh, well. table behind us. Yeah, I'll just there's one right here. I'll just make. Okay. Where, where did my horse run off to? Oh, horse got in the tree again. Okay, so this is an example of, God, I don't know. Should we go up? Should we go through? Um, well, let's go through here. Okay, yeah. Um, hmm. Heroes and Generals? What's that from? Generic thing, is that like a thing? Okay, I guess what I okay, I guess I'll do what you're doing. So, um, when making a tunnel, make sure yeah. that it's three high, otherwise you'll hit three your high. Hand. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure how high to go, so no, I was just starting it, out with see, three. If wide. you make it too high, your horse can go through, but your head cannot. And you will actually that uh, is a it, problem. damage very rapidly. Which is kind of a fun pl prank to play on someone. You make all these wonderful roads, and it turns out one section of it kills you. <laughs> By the way, I've been lighting up uh, the roads around the city 
um, yep. with one torch every seven tiles, because I think that's on a lighting that stops monsters from spawning. Every seven. Plus, okay. also it maps out out real nice. Yeah, I've been, I, you know, I've been meaning to eventually get around to having some regularity between where the torches go, because I got regularity and everything else, but I haven't really done that yet. I've just been sort of haphazardly placing them wherever. All right. Well, if you do regularity, I recommend uh, starting from a node and then. Uh, having everything be, be a yeah, thing. every eight. Seventh one out pretty nice, nice for me. But eight's a eight's a power of two, and one hundred twenty-eight is divisible by eight and not by seven. Then why did it math out so nice? What do you mean math out? What did you like? I, I put a torch every seventh tile, and uh, every other torch fell directly on a node. And the ones ah. that didn't fall directly on a node fell, now, did fell you, exactly did in the you, middle between did you two put torches. Seven so that was also between fine. them? Yeah, right okay. in the middle. Okay, well, if you put seven between them, then it's every eighth time. Oh, no, I, it's not. Sorry, I misunderstood you. No, it's definitely every seventh one, not seven huh. between them. Well, I don't know. Witchcraft. I, I don't know either. I'm, um, I'm I'll have to inspect now. this, but I. <laughs> I yeah, think just that, go check out the I think that around inspecting the city. See what I mean. torch placement for mathematical regularity is even more boring than what we're doing right now. So, is it? Is it really? Yeah, yeah, I, I would say so. Tell us. <laughs> Making sure that torches are regularly placed—that's around like the low end of interesting things we could show our viewers. Where did my horse go? Probably over that way somewhere. <laughs> Thanks. I'm useful. Ah, World War II game. Yeah, I mean, I have... The thing with me in games is that I get to the point where I only really play one or two of them at a time. Because I'd rather experience getting good at a game than going through a bunch of them. And there's a ton of games on my queue. I think a lot of modern gamers have this problem. Also, I'm waist deep in writing a ridiculously complicated uh, paper right now. And there's only so much time I can spend on other things. Minecraft Mondays is like my only exception. So, maybe some other month. Ooh, there's a skeleton. Where that skeleton at? There he is. Hey, guys. So one thing that I, I think it's a tragedy they left out of the horse implementation is the ability to run things over. Horse, horse jousting, horse polo. Or just, just run at something with your horse and cause them damage that way. By the way, is Daniel still with us? Is he still on? It's a mystery. Yeah, he packed like 10 milks. I'm going to put them somewhere. Where's that crafting table? Did you bring a crafting table? There's a couple oh, there's over one. here. There's one over there, and there's one. Oh, there's on a node the right here. Oh no, that's not a node. Yeah. That's a watch your step sign. Okay. I, I, no, I. I th yeah, I. Oh, okay. Just, I'm gonna put your milk I just somewhere. I thing there because reason. I needed to build some slabs for this bridge. Okay. I guess we could also build a railing too, but railings are t resource intensive. Everybody complains about that. I don't understand. It, uh, okay, so I worked out the math. It takes three logs to make four rails. And so it basically makes, like, an entire tree is about eight rails. And that's not very long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all. okay. Like, you need six sticks. Maybe I should go get my horse. Do you not know where your horse is? I have no idea where my horse it's is. 3 a.m. Do you know where your <laughs> horse is? Yeah. I'm nervous about horses and chasms, because I really don't know how good the horse AI is with avoiding danger. On the one hand, they seem to avoid dropping pretty well. They don't seem to get stuck in pits. On the other hand, I did have a horse that wandered into the channel, went Are you underneath using the full bridge. Block when you could be using slabs? What? I don't want to bother making slabs. <laughs> like, oh, I've, I've weighed the pros on. and cons, and it's just like, I make slabs for certain things like going across uh, lakes, but it's just the effort involved in 
setting aside a certain amount and then dealing with like, oh, I have extra slabs, gotta go put them Who's away. Over it's, just, it, it's like it's like programming languages. You know, it might be strictly speaking more efficient to do everything in C, but programmer hours are worth something too, and that's why things like Ruby and Python are in use. Okay. Well. I'm just saying. That's my way. You can do it a different way if you want. I'm gonna go try to find my horse. Okay. Well, I keep cutting off my words because I, I changed my push to talk just button and I keep getting where it is. Just a tiny bit. I can mostly okay. understand you. Work on your debate. Okay, uh, Goldfort says he needs to go work on his, or they need to go work on their debate. So, I'm not sure what that means, but... It would be really nice if a, a handles came with pronoun boxes next to them or something. People keep calling me he, and I'm like, do I want to bother? That's a good question, do you? So far, no. Okay. I mean, I guess keep in mind the downside is that this game has a lot of, uh, probably has a lot of horny male teenagers playing that have little in the way of maturity. And, yeah, I noticed like, that I know, the other day. I know most of us are beyond the point of just hassling women that happen to be on the internet, but not everyone is up to that level yet, so. Yeah, I was like, let's hmm. not Let's not kick that but off. <laughs> Yeah, like, um, I don't even remember who it was, but somebody that I was, it was on the server the other day when I was playing, was, like, making, like, villager rape jokes, and I was like, um, maybe, could we not? Yeah. How do I, hmm. I think you're probably, like, 12, so I feel kind of weird talking to you in the first place. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, like, twice your age, I don't, am I qualified to have this talk with you? So, yeah. We do we do Ooh. love our viewers, whatever their age and mentality usually. You know, like they're they're cool people. I just don't know how to like talk about social responsibility to people without sounding I don't Vill know. Villagers aren't worth it. this tunnel than to just go over the hill i, w I didn't actually check. I, I don't know i, think I the, don't even the know the tunnel just existed to begin with so we just... yeah that's i just was expanding tunnels where there were tunnels and yeah i didn't quite have the whole plan figured out when i made this part um sort of uh changed how it worked oh, gravel because originally I was making it for people, and then I realized I had to make it for horses. And then it says, okay, right. less tunnels and more just going over hills. But I still have a couple. If it goes, like, directly... That zombie up. was on fire! Oh. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, I've got a pail of water. I'm not actually sure how to use it, but... I, I recommend not trying to use water to pull out... It. I tried to do that to put out the inn when I accidentally set the inn on fire. It wasn't very helpful. Oh, well, it could probably put out a person, right? Maybe if you Probably, drink it, yeah. Know. It would just, like, also wash them away in a, a tide of, um, I don't know, water, oh, I guess. Oh, wait, water does that? Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, another thing that the, the Twitch integration in Minecraft is it shows you the number of viewers. 
Really? Yep. I just noticed that. That is so useful. Right now we have three, which I believe is just us. Oh. oh. Every so often I go back and like watch one of the old episodes on YouTube. Oh, you Because I'm like trying to find some thing that happened. Yeah. And I'm like the first view on it. Oh. Yeah. I'm well, like, I mean, oh. I'm, I'm, I guess officially now the archivist, and I've never done that. So. <laughs> I'm the archivist for IGG. I'm not. I hold no, no position for uh, uh, anything else we do as CBA. Yeah. I do want to do more, but like I said, not a good time. Yeah, that's that's fine. I mean, it's never I'm a good time. Already that's why nothing in general happens, by how we do so. It's never a good time. That's why nothing ever happens for most people doing most things. But for me, it's especially not a good time. Yeah. No, like I I have seen you when it is a good time and you get shit done. So. Oh, thank you. I just realized I have two arrows and no bow. Hmm. Now we have two viewers, so one of us is not even watching. I I'm not. Oh, okay. Mystery solved. It just causes echo and lightning problems. It's not really worth it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I just muted. it. I guess it wouldn't make sense to hear myself. Yeah. Uh, we, we always have one viewer in the form of the IRC bot. Oh, okay. So it's me and the IRC bot. Amazing. Actually, maybe not the IRC bots, but no, it's it's you and me as Cloudlet Armada. I guess the, the IRC bot doesn't actually watch. Which makes sense. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just make an executive decision and say we're gonna go over this hill. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, this tunnel is kind of long and silly. <laughs> yeah, so I had this idea that everything was like horizontally regimented uh, with, the, with the, um, 128. So what I do is vertically regiment it with multiples of four and have the path only be at multiples of four. That was a dumb huh. idea. <laughs> like, there is no benefit whatsoever to doing that. It's not like it's hard to find things vertically. And yeah. uh, it, 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 it really conferred a lot of things that were not conducive to walking, like ladders and tunnels through things that you could very easily just step over. Did you just put this iron in this chest? Because I just ganked it. Yeah, I did. You can gank it. It's Daniel's. I'll put it back. I mean, I, I, there's only so much I can hold right now. Daniel, you're going to find all of your stuff is, like, distributed along this path. <laughs> so you have that treasure hunt to look forward to. Well, the advantage of what we're doing now is I guess that it makes it a lot easier to get to this desert later on. Yep. So we have that to look forward to. No 
Oh, don't put dirt there. But why? It's the path. It needs to be wood. But you don't make the whole path wood. Well, and okay. I had more so, dirt. <laughs> here is here is my reasoning, is that I guess given enough time eventually it would all be wood. But I can't I don't oh. have enough wood to do that right now. So the the philosophy I kind of take is that if there's a space that needs filling, put wood there. Otherwise, the dirt can be used for now. So you just put these three here for no reason, actually. Oh, well, I, you dug out part of it. I don't know. Um, I just dug out one so that it would be even, dude. Oh, yeah, well, whatever. I mean, the, I, the, the, the other thing is that if you make it all dirt, you kind of lose track of where the path is. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Little, It's just part of it. In fact, I'm just going to put a few, like, wood things here. Um... You know what? You can do it however you want. It's, okay. it's if I if I micromanage the whole thing, no one else is ever going to help me. So. Um, well, I mean, I've been filling it in with with dirt when that's easier, and filling it in with okay, when that's yeah, just, easier. Okay, yeah. You know, just continue doing that. That's fine. I figure that um, if you mark it with torches, then it's easy to find whether or also not it looks true. like wood. Also true. So yeah, you know what? Do whatever you want. I'm just. I might I might dig up and put in some wood, but that's fine. I mean, aesthetically, it looks nice. Actual road, road. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess aesthetically or thematically, it would be make more sense to make a cobblestone, but I do not have enough stone. Yeah. I don't. I have mean, if you wanted to match the villages, you'd make it out of gravel. But who the heck has that much gravel? Yeah. Um. Does does enough gravel exist for that? That's we kind of a no. the question. Maybe in the that. oceans. Yeah. Um, also, like, I guess we could make infinite gravel theor or infinite cobblestone theoretically, but the thing is that you'd have to bring it all with you. If you're in a forest and you're making a path, you are literally acquiring building materials for the wood path as you're making it. Oh, you've got the uh, staircase. Yeah, I had a few. So awesome, cool. I'm Thanks. evening things out and putting in That's stairs. That's always a pain to deal with. Um, also, one thing I do is that when there's a little little dip like there is like this, I just fill it with wood. I try and make it so that it changes evolu um, elevation. Oh, hey, few men left. Yeah, they are streamed. Who's here? It's a uh, few men left. He's one of the one of our IGG walkers, if I remember correctly. Oh, cool. And, um, uh, usually it's Daniel streaming, by the way. If this is your first Minecraft Monday, um, it's, uh, it's always Daniel, except for this time. Hello, I've got a cold. He's got a cold, so we're giving him a break. Oh, should I, I reclaim those stairs, then? Um, if you want. I mean, if you're gonna fill it with wood solidly, then... Yeah, I'll reclaim them, use them later. If that's okay. Yeah, it's gotten to the point where, uh, yeah, I remember you, uh, Human Left challenged me on Space Chem at the first IEGG, I believe. Dude. You don't forget a challenge like that. No kidding. Unless I'm completely wrong, then this is just embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Some other guy. Someone completely different. Actually, I've got an, an idea for the uh, uh, for the figure, how it's going to look. Yeah? Oh, wow. Wait, hang on a sec. Oh, our path is off. Our path is off by one. Oh, no. It's okay. Oh. We just move it over. Yeah, I haven't played Space Cam in a long while. Um, it's, it's, again, too many games, not enough time.
also, uh, if you want a bed, I brought a ton of wool. So, um, I don't know, has, has few men left seen, uh, Minecraft Mondays before? If not, might want to be up to speed with what we're doing. Um, so we made a vanilla server. We decided for whatever reason to make the biomes huge so that it takes forever to get anywhere. Um, so one of the, the big projects that we've done is, um, make a system of roads and like Minecraft itself, the roads are very square. They happen along every meridian of... A, it's a multiple of 128. Um, but it's a lot easier to move through forests, especially on horseback, um, if the path is cleared out with these roads. So it seems to be a worthwhile project so far. Unfortunately, it's not the most interesting thing to stream, but um, what we're trying to do is get to this desert we found, and it's kind of a habit for me by now to just leave roads everywhere. I'm gonna go find what happened to my horse. Oh god, I left my horse like a ways ago. Yeah. Horsey, where are you? Wait, did you actually cover the tunnel you made? Cover the tunnel? What do you mean? Yeah. Well, because I just went up the hill and where the tunnel oh. exit, it's now just wood. Yeah. I did cover it, because we covered it on the other side. Because that was the tunnel that made no sense, remember? Well, like, I agree that going over the road makes sense, just now there's, like, a secret tunnel. Yes, now there is a secret tunnel. Maybe we'll secret expand it later. through the mountains. Alright, I found your horse. I'm gonna deliver him or her into the tunnel, where I guess they're relatively safe. Have you given your horse a name yet? No, I actually meant to stop by spawn and grab my name tag and do, do that, but... I want to name my horse, the horse that I don't have right now because I'm playing as Daniel. Um, but I have, a, I have a sneaking suspicion that somehow it's a different horse than the one I had earlier. Because hmm. it seems to have a different number of hearts and it doesn't leap over fences like the other one did. The other one was great. It could leap two squares, I think. But I don't know if it got swapped out somehow. So I'm hesitant Weird. to give them a name if I'm not sure of their identity. Sparkle, sprinkle, oh my god. Oh, no, I know what I'll call it. What? Smiley Star Pony. Okay. So, okay, um, there was, at my high school, there was this thing where like, you are floating off the ground right now. You are levitating. Ooh. Like, I'm looking at this, you're, you're, you're a block above the ground. What are you doing? I'm just hanging out, what? How, how? How are you doing this? Okay. Um, we had this big uh, school-wide sort of math competition exam um, that not everyone took seriously. And um, the following day, we got an email from a, uh, a none-too-amused um, uh, teacher 
asking who signed their uh, who signed their paper smiley star pony <laughs> and that sort of became a, a meme like a pre meme meme remember memes back there, there have been memes since forever. That's what people forget. They weren't as mainstream, and they didn't take the form of advice animals, but they were definitely, like, catchphrases and stuff. So so what are we stopping here for? Oh, I stopped here because I found it, uh, this tunnel goes in, and I got some coal, and I'm getting some iron out of it. Okay. You know, what is Minecraft if not mining? Probably a whole lot of other stuff, Fair too. enough. I'm just gonna go over. Here. Oh, I don't have any space for this iron. Hang on. Get out of here, saplings. And what's down here? Ooh, this goes down a while. I used to play UT Unreal Tournament as Smiley Star Pony. Nice. I, I miss Unreal Tournament. That was a fun game. Oh god, that game was the best. I mean, I, I guess for its time, I, I, if I played it now, it would mostly just be nostalgia, I'm sure. <laughs> but, you know, compared to the, the, the uh, status quo of the day, it was pretty, uh, it was pretty great. Yeah, it was fantastic. It was like one of the few like first person shooters I actually really enjoyed playing too. Yeah, me too. Also, it had portals before Portal had portals. I know, no, telefragging was my favorite way to kill. No, 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 not even that. I would got that. really good at at throwing the teleport mine thing right underneath them and teleporting into their space to kill them. Yeah, telefragging. Um yeah, there's an upcoming Unreal UT as well. Um I haven't really been keeping tabs on that. I've I've kind of been too busy, but yeah, it's Sounds pretty cool. Um, although again, it would it would be mostly just nostalgia for me. Um, but no, they had actual portals. They had actual like um, zones in the game. You could say this part just links to that part as a portal, as like in the style of portal. I capture the flag mode with my brother, so I didn't really. They were very rare. They were not used very often. Um, but just literally, like, it was a window to another spot in the game. That's cool. Um, yeah, and I was, it blew my mind that they only used it, like, in one or two maps. They didn't know what they had. I, I know. It was so cool. You could do some crazy shit with it. Um, so what I did is I made a map that was the three-dimensional surface of a four-dimensional hypercube. Oh my god, of course. It was the best. Actually, it was kind of a terrible map, but it was really funny. Like, you know how if you go along the surface of a cube for four squares, you end up back where you were? Yeah. That means if you if you look four rooms ahead, you see your back. And the portals nice. worked this way, just like Portal did. Like, I can't believe they made this feature for the game, implemented a couple times, and everyone forgot about it. It's kind of amazing. Yeah. So, of course, I, I promptly considered, proceeded to cut off my own head with the Ripper and uh, blow myself up with a rocket. Of course. Because that's what you do in that situation. Of course. What would you do if you saw your own back in front of you? Throw things at it. Yeah. Explosives, in particular. I totally got distracted by this tunnel, by the way. I don't know where you are. <laughs> I'm up ahead. I'm dealing with this weird bridge you built. I'm just going to turn it into a more normal bridge. Okay, thank you. Yeah. God, this tunnel goes on forever. Oh, no, wait. It just stopped. Okay. Okay. 
dig some coal, gonna dig some coal, even though we have so much. Okay, I guess I should get out of here. <laughs> down here more tunnel iron ooh underground lake oh no wait that's just another little stream thing oh wow big one oh plug Okay, that tunnel's fully explored. Let's go back to work. I see it coming. I'm almost done with this bridge. Let's see. I don't even know if I'm going the right direction. This is... Well, I saw your name tag, so I'm assuming you're nearby. Yeah, I'm going the wrong direction. Still here, by the way. Oh, yeah. Nice little bridge. Yep. I just finished. Very nice. All right. Take that tree. Don't you hate it when you're not tall enough to fully chop down a tree? Yes. 
What an absurd thing to happen. What's Isaac Rebirth? Is that like, oh. is that like a sequel or expansion or? my horse. Oh, I'm in trees. Of course, that's that's not. No. Yep, mine's doing that too. Horses like their trees. What can I say? So apparently they're they're remaking Binding of Isaac in like yeah. total overhaul kind of thing. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not sure precisely what advantage they're aiming for, but. Um... What is going on here? Um, I made a ditch because of the stupid thing I had about ele elevation, and I'm just trying to fill that in. Also, some well, I mean, all the cobble? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Sometimes I happen upon places where other people have been, and there's just like artifacts left behind that confuse me. Hmm. My name is Zimandias, King of Kings. Found upon my works, be mighty and be confused. I should try and figure out where the nearest uh, multiple of 128 is. Yeah, we haven't made a note at all recently. Yeah, that's fine. We can just skip that part for now, but I just want to put my stuff away. Ah. Uh. Hundred twenty eight times fifteen is too big. Um twenty eight times ten is too small. Um I'm glad to hear you don't just have a magical hundred and twenty eight cents. Yeah. Uh let's see, we got hundred and eight times ten, hundred and twenty eight times twelve, that's one forty four. Five three six, and then one six six four. Is that it? It's one hundred and twenty eight times thirteen. Um, thirteen twenty six hundred fifty six sixty four six eight four. Let me double check. Oh, 
Okay. We have a node right... Oh, right where I'm standing. Convenient. Hey, horse, get your butt. Okay, so you can decorate that however you will. Doo -doo -doo. You know my style by now. You've seen enough nodes. Yeah, I mean, I think you used stairs in the other ones, but I've got things of slabs, so that's what you get. I've changed styles. You know, it's there's no adopted standard, and I don't care enough to adopt one. <laughs> Make some beds while I'm at it. Cool. Making. Uh, just one of those standard houses, yeah. A villager house of the village style. Yep, it's easy to build and looks nice, so. Okay. Oh, I already used up all my logs. I guess you got more logs, though, right? I got, I got tons of logs. No, oh, actually, I need uncut logs for maximum aesthetics, though. Yeah, I gave you some right here. Oh, thank you. And this tree's gonna have to go... You know, you're looking back on history, you're like, oh god, those, those greedy Europeans chopping down all the forests of Europe, and those uh, unenlightened folks of previous eras that just chop down the forest, but then you actually like live in a place like this and you kind of gain some sympathy for them. Because, oh my god, <laughs> there are so many forests. <laughs> and they are all in the way. Also, we need food to do things with. I mean, wood. So, yeah. It, it was the rational thing to do at the time. I mean, you know, l l individual by individual, life by life, you know, a little bit of tree loss is no big thing. It confers benefit within your lifetime. It's just, uh, after a few hundred years of that, you start to see the downsides. Right. Did you plant this sapling? Did you sap them? Oh god. Oh god, this was a bad decision. What'd you do? Oh, I... you destroyed the, uh... There, there's the chest. The chest. You know what I just realized? What's that? You can place logs horizontally if you want. Yeah, you totally can. You know what else I just realized? What's that? 
we put you put logs horizontally into villagers' houses, and for some reason, none of them are put on their side. Like, as it would make mm -hmm. sense, like there's a long log there. I, I don't, I'm not sure I understand. Well, no, the, I mean, think about it. If I put them by the side, if you, if you made a ring around the roof for the logs on this side, it would make sense, because it would look like just long logs. Oh, yeah. But here we just have a bunch of, like, little stumpy chopped logs in a way that doesn't really make a lot of sense, but, you know. It's, yeah, I'm not sure what the deal is. It's not a big deal. No more beds. No, oh, they'll be back in a sec. How do you sleep at night destroying our beds? Um, on the cold stone floor, I suppose. I'd like to see you try. Yay, you built the house just in time for us to not need to go to sleep anymore. Yep. So it goes. Oh well, someone will use it. Yeah, that's my general feeling about this sort of thing. It's a shame that I, one of my favorite nodes left on the uh, on the path to the village is you go up this the ladder and it's like there's a little log lodge mm. on the top of a tall peak and um, you get a view of this little like tiny spire mountain with a single tree on it. Oh, cute. Yeah. Be a nice place to go for like a vacation or something, but it's like you can't get the horses up there. Is the thing, it's Aww. way too steep. So that that's the one we the I made the the horse takes the tunnel, but the ladder goes up for people. So the reverse of what okay. usually happens. Oh well. Mm. Wonder 
how far we are from the desert. Shot. So let's see. We just gonna fix this little bridge here. Oh, we're actually really close to the desert. Oh, I are think we? I see it up ahead. Oh, that's exciting. Been there. I see you creeping. Checking that ass. Thanks for following, and goodbye. May like this, and have to check us out, not right now. I... I live my life that way a lot of the time, so... Oh, I do the same thing. Like, oh, this is cool, I'll look at it later. Yeah. <laughs> 50 tabs later. Uh-huh. Ooh. You built your house, so I'd have to tear part of it down to go horizontally on this node. Oh no, really? I thought I got it right. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> Lol pranks. I've got a, a Firefox extension. House. Read it later. It'd be like a little Ooh. temporary bookmark thing. Yeah. I think I've got, currently got 30 pages. Yeah, I've got wow. session saver when I have to close things down in Chrome, but uh, I, I never, I seldom go back and actually look what I have saved. Um, also in Chrome, like if, if pages start linking, you can just shut them down on a case by case basis, so. Which is nice. Very nice. It's really satisfying too. It just your your computer slugging down, and then you see its flash is taking up everything, and it's like, all right, flash, you're shutting down. Uh oh, whoops. Oh, okay. Uh, We're back hello? online. Okay. I think. Yeah, you should be. Probably one of us should be monitoring that. No, I got an error message, and uh, I didn't know what to make of it until the stream went offline. So, um, uh -huh. there's just a lot of capitals and underscores. But I, I'm I'm watching the stream. Okay. Where did my horse go? <laughs> Kids at home, if you know where my horse went, <laughs> send in your answer to Cloudboat Armada. <laughs> Save me some time. See your horse. And, uh. That's. Wait. Did you make this node? Yeah. I... Well, no. The... Well, I mean, there was a node there already. I oh, just okay. Put... 
I was like, nicer. did you go to the trouble of multiplying 128 God, by 14? No. <laughs> At best, I would have just remembered that the last one was, uh, what, 13 and yeah. just gone from there. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was referring to. Why is my horse? I just saw it. it was, you were right next to it. It's like right here. Do you see my horse? I see cows. That's not my horse. Okay, so I've been to the desert once, briefly, just to see where it was. Okay, Fuman left says last time oh, you saw, geez. last time they saw him, he was on a tree top. I, I retrieved my horse tree top, so I definitely recommend checking out the trees. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Sandstone roads. Um, I'm just gonna leave it as is, like this, so that we don't have to change over. Yeah. Um, and then maybe like dig in a trench and put stone there. I guess we're gonna switch to stone for the desert. Or how much acacia do they have? Oh God. Depends on how much they have in the way of resources, I guess. Where's my horse? Where's my horse? Suspicion my horse went down the tunnel. Okay, so I went off the track and found a tiny pond and half cut down trees. So there's evidence that Hume, that Steve's were here, but I really <laughs> don't know the context because there's literally nothing else uh, built. There's nothing built there at all. How curious. Yeah, weird. Nomads. So there's a chasm here. Where's my horse? It, uh, it, no, never mind. It looked like you lagged out for a second there. So what I you, you you mentioned maps earlier. What I want to do eventually is, based on the uh. nodes, I could take like a piece of graph paper and make an old an old sort of age of exploration style rough map. You know, uh. here be cows kind of thing. Totally. Seems like it'd be pretty fun. See, there's just a bunch of like parallel trenches over here like he was digging graves it's kind of creepy oh in the desert yeah Daniel. yeah that 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 was uh where i buried all the body no it, it's where it's, it's where i uh, mined out all the obsidian there should be a pit there where is you can a pit. see where the lava pool was oh huh. so it was a painstaking process of taking the lava out in buckets and filling them into the the trenches oh, okay. and then pouring water over it to all the lava without wow. you know risking it dumping into the lava uh, or burning up or killing myself 
Ah, oh, I see. Well, thanks for getting that lava out of the way. It would have been in the way of the road. Hey, I've got an idea for making the path. You know what the desert has an abundance of? Cactus. Cactus. I was actually considering putting it on the sides as like a penalty to like people who are like dri driving while sleepy. You know, like those like uh, things that they get on the side of the roads that make this awful noise. It's yeah, like yeah, I know what you're talking about. The uh, that makes the idea no less ridiculous. <laughs> oh wait, here's a pyramid. I think. Cool, that's your temple. Yeah, probably one we've seen already so at some point. I'm pretty sure we've looted like all of them. Ah, okay. We can check it out anyway, though. Daniel, I'm using your diamond pickaxe on ground. Like I said, I've never really had one of those things run out. There definitely is uh, some of the uh, some of the wear bar is down a bit, just a tiny bit. Oh, the horror. Yeah. I need to get you a new diamond pickaxe. So what's the deal with these temples, anyway? Uh, they've got UT at the bottom, and sometimes they explode you. And there's a creeper in this room. Excited. See where I am? There's a creeper here. <laughs> like around the corner. In here? No, no, no. Literally in here. Around this corner, just waiting. I'm so confused. No, 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 no. You, you see where I'm standing? There was a creeper here. Oh, like right where you're standing? Yes. Oh, I think you were like warning me about some reference point inside the room. No, no, it just it was it was very cleverly located. Ooh. Oh, it goes down. Oh, this thing got super raided already. Like not only did they raid it, but they left a big ugly pit. Oh. Like when I raid a temple, I at least try to leave it aesthetically pleasing at the bottom. I used up all my torch lighting in the road, so. I got some. And I got a ton of coal. Guess that's all to this temple there is, huh? Oh well. Pretty much. Not huge. There's always the historical curiosity. Creeper. You're destroying priceless artifacts, Creeper. Worse than Napoleon's men at the Sphinx. So I guess now that we're here, this is just sort of freeform exploring. It makes me really Pretty wish much. I had my horse, though. <laughs> Hello, White Ninja 93. What is with I really wish that, like, in the same way that mobs get hostile against each other if they hit each other, that mobs would get hostile against cactuses. I just want to see like a skeleton is super pissed at this cactus and is just shooting arrows into it all for naught.
So, what's going on here is that we are playing vanilla Minecraft. Uh, this is our first time on a server with horses. And we decided to just take it sort of without mods this time. Because we go a little crazy with mods. Um, we also decided the only mod we used is... All the biomes are like, what, 16 so times their original size? They're just ginormous. Yeah, it's They're just a, a world generation setting. Yeah, which which makes things kind of difficult to get around, but it also makes it more exciting when you actually find, you know, the first desert we've seen in the entire game. Um, we have yet to find a swamp anywhere, and we've done a lot of exploring. Um, and one of our projects is this road I'm walking on right now. Um, we try to make them every meridian that's a multiple of 128. So there's always a sort of a way to get back on the highway from where you are. Um, and we decided to take it this way because this is the way to the desert we found. Going through all the forests. It's very hard to move a horse through these trees without a path. Speaking of horses, mine has gone missing and I'm trying to find it. Just because I want to run around in the desert on horseback because that just sounds so cool. My horse go. Horse. So yeah, right now I'm just looking for my horse. That's that's about all that's going on. And uh oh. Ooh, iron. This is an open server. You are welcome and encouraged to come join us. Um, I think our only rule at this point is don't be a dick. Um, you can interpret that how you will. Um, Daniel, do you think you could paste the info? This goes down. Um, I am going to say no on both those accounts. PvP is neither allowed nor tolerated. I mean, it's not, um, turned off. Um, you are not physically incapable of just going up and punching people, but we generally don't like that kind of thing on this particular server. Like, this isn't, yeah, I this had is, this isn't a mod-heavy server. It's not it. easy to do things. I'm like, whoa. A lot of pumpkins over where I am right now. Um, so, generally, just going up and making life difficult for other people just doesn't. It's not. It's not that interesting. If you're going to murder people, at least try and be clever yes, about it. Yes, like an infinite chicken machine. You, you want to explain that story because I don't really know the details. I mean, that wasn't really murder equal. That was just killing the whole server. Well, but. I mean, uh, it's like a more advanced kind of murdering. That's true. It's like how, uh, you know how after uh, there was the there were those comic books like the, the 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 one where they killed Superman off and then they just like brought him back for some stupid reason and so like superheroes are like cartoon characters that can't die now. Um, on the other hand, there was Captain Marvel, who was a big superhero in the 60s or something. And the reason that you don't hear about him now is because he was killed 
and the only way to kill superheroes permanently. Um, copyright issues. <laughs> um, so he's, they're asking if I put landmines around and kill someone, is that okay? What's a landmine? <laughs> Do we have landmines? That'd be a TNT with a pressure plate. Oh, right. I guess that would be a landmine. Um, you know what? I'm going to say you're allowed to do that if they're clearly marked and not in the way. I would, yeah, it would kind of stuff to happen like, on the roads or in the town, but like yeah. if you just put one in a place if you want to and put then a somebody sits on it later, on, like... And someone else wants to kill themselves on it. That's fine. If you put on a landmine with the intent of tricking people to step on it, I'm just going to say no to that. Still no sign of my horse. Oh, wait. It's in a tree over there. I found it. Always right when you give up. Always on the, it was on the wrong side of the path. I'm just kind of floating there. That's not even in a tree. Oh, wait. The, the rest of the tree didn't load. <laughs> <laughs> it was like there was a half of a tree and it was just floating in midair on the half that wasn't there. What's the point of a landmine if they can see it? Yeah, you have a point there. Um, I didn't say they'd have to see it. I just said they would have just to be clearly indicated. Marked. Um, a sign that says step here to die. Now that's interesting because some people might step on it anyway, if they care little about their current life and uh, are curious about why that would kill them. I think we have some players who might take that that uh, sort of suggestion. Also, it would kill zombies, wouldn't it? Yeah, I remember during IgG, uh, we were trying to like. We definitely had a habit of trolling each other on some games, like Daniel uh, logging into our Artemis game and attacking us with another ship. Um, and then, I forget who it was, but I think like Matt was trying to show our, our Minecraft server, and someone else, it might have been David Laurent, or, or someone else was like, Hey, I'll come in and troll you guys, and Matt was like, No, don't do that, because it won't be funny. <laughs> we'll just die. Like, if you want to attack people and kill people, there's really no challenge in it. Let's see. Big note up here. Twenty forty eight, it's another power of two. It's like sixteen times one twenty eight. Cool. So how much cobblestone do I have? Not a whole lot. I think I have I don't know, an amount. Oh, you know what there's plenty of in the desert though? Sandstone. Yes. Maybe we can make some paths out of that. Make a sandstone quarry. That'd be cool. I think a general area would be fine. Yeah, put up a sign for a general area of booby traps and death, and you know, if, if you're creative about it, if you make it like, oh, you can make it like a, a maze where some of them yeah, make a labyrinth. Pads kill you. Oh man, I wish I was doing that now. <laughs> or just make like a clever amusement park of death. Think of just creative ways to die. Um, I don't know. Is there any way to fling players in this game? Like launch them. Um, maybe pistons somehow. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's an idea. If you can, like, an idea. And with TNT devices. Oh. Well, but it I takes guess. a lot of TNT. Yeah. I guess if there was a way to do that, you could have it be like, uh, a place that is skillfully made to fling you into some landmines. Like that would be impressive. Oh, like you build like a. a a giant catapult, like, step here to fly. Yeah, and make a catapult. Land. I'd watch that. I'd watch people getting catapulted all day. Or, um, that game we played where you have to fall from a high spot and you have to fall into the water so you don't die, but there's, Oh, hey, like, here's the village. There's not water everywhere. 
Okay, I'll come up and find you in a sec. Um, it's Mi pretty close to the um, the note I was building the little house at, but actually. Okay. God, desert villages really need an overhaul in their aesthetics. Really? It's they're all sandstone. It's a little boring. Uh, they could have like colored clay or something. It would look a little nicer. Well, if you want to do it. No thanks. Uh, that was there. I uh, yeah, I was, I was about to say, how did you make that little pool? And then I realized that must have been Daniel. Uh, yeah. Uh, for his lava thing. So that's why you had a bucket full of water. I mean, I normally carry buckets with me, but I actually didn't this time. Well, when I inherited this character, he had a, he had a bucket of water. No, I mean, buckets of water are just useful for a lot of things. Like what? Uh, exploration, you could use it to make ladders down. Uh, not dying from fire. Okay. Uh, you know, sweeping other people away. Oh yeah, and for the record, those of us tuning in for the first time, uh, usually it's Daniel hosting these. I, this is the one time I'm doing it instead, because of virus-related reason. Biological virus, not like he had a computer virus. I figure listening to me often hack for several hours is not anyone's yeah, idea of a first time. Yeah, you rest You should! We're every... We, we... We, uh, you should tune in. We're every Monday. Oh, you know what I just realized is co really cool? Um, so a lot of times we have trouble with archives in that there's a chat, but the chat doesn't get recorded into the video. So we're left with a video of us, like, having a half of a conversation. But because of the Minecraft thing putting the chat into the Minecraft window... Um, you can see the chat in the archives now. I mean, I've had I've been doing that for like several months now with the what? the IRC window, putting the the chat in just through OBS. Sort yeah, of like split. Oh, yeah? little thing up there. Oh, I guess I haven't watched the archives then. You caught me. But uh, no, no, knowing that uh, Minecraft does this automatically, it's good to know because it looks a lot better. <laughs> So here's a question for you. There's smooth stand sandstone, sandstone, and chiseled sandstone. Blah, blah, blah. Is there any way of turning one into the other? <laughs> I mean, you could turn sand into sandstone with four sand into a sandstone, and then I think four sandstone into some of the other types of sandstone. Oh, okay. And I, I, I don't remember if it's like cyclical or something, but I think once you have... Uh, Unless you have uh, the the su some type of you know descriptive word sandstone, you can't turn it back into sandstone. Um, okay. Yeah, apparently smooth sandstone stays smooth sandstone. I don't know how you get chiseled sandstone though. Aside from like temples, I guess. I guess we're doing smooth sandstone for the path, though, because I don't want to. Cool. <laughs> 
Because I guess... <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. Kind of looks the same anyway. As what? Well, I'm pretty sure that the tops all look the, the same. The tops it's just look the, the sides. Same. Yeah, that's the thing. Right, yeah. this is he just showed up and started being loyal to us yeah dogs are awesome well i can't tell it to sit so it's not mine i think you can tell them to sit even when you they're not yours because i've definitely well done it that wasn't working i've definitely done that with other people's dogs here tell it to stop sitting Not working. Huh. Well, I guess it's mine. I mean, just try, I try to get bones. How bad of an idea is it for me to just go up and whack that Enderman? Oh yeah, that's your dog. If you have any zombie meat, go and give it some. Oh, it's oh, kinda hurt. do they eat zombie meat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, now it's your dog. <laughs> No, it's, I, it's just in breeding mode. If they were another dog, they'd oh, be a puppy they dog. They breed from zombie meat. That's more than a little weird. It also heals them, though. You can tell by the height of their tails. Oh, learning new things. But yeah, you should definitely go whack that Enderman. Okay, pick up my stuff if I die. Okay. Also, did, you should get in the bed, actually. Oh, no, that wouldn't work. Hell did he go? Aha! Wow, that was actually really easy. Oh yeah. I guess it helps to have a full diamond set. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, I made the house tiny, so there's only one bed. I could expand it if you want. Um. Yeah, we'll see. I think it's on the desert. You can at least see if there's enemies coming. Fuck you, skeleton man! By the way, White Ninja, if you need, like, pointers on where we keep our stuff and where cool stuff to see is, I can, uh, tell you how to get there. Um, but there's, there's some cool stuff by the spawn. I mean, you can figure it out. And there's also the path that you can follow. Some of them lead to cool things. So many shovels.
Bye bye, few men. much digging oh yeah you guys all have to watch this don't you <laughs> On this yeah I, I, I'm not used to this I'm used to like only caring about what I'm doing and forgetting that everyone else has to stare at these same sand piles that I'm just digging through well okay so Here's what I'm thinking. What we wanted to do in the long run is find a swamp. But you're also telling me that there's some the, the there is some logic behind the biomes in terms of heat and ar aridity, humidity. I, I I think so, but I'm not 100 percent certain. So basically, like I know that we're, we're he now... had um these colors to make the blending between the biomes better. Yeah. And they were based on that. And like I think the reason that you see like taiga next to desert or whatever is because they're both arid well we we don't see taiga next to desert we saw taiga next to beach okay yeah um but what i was gonna say basically well, what so is... i what i suspect the the beach is actually just like a little tiny sandbar that yeah. got blown out to huge proportions because it's 16 times larger yeah that's it just means there's an ocean next to it um but what I realized is we've basically gone to the opposite of a swamp in our search for a swamp. Yeah. We didn't well, think I, this thing. I was in my search for a swamp. You were searching for the desert, and you found it. Congrats. Yeah, but I also want to find a swamp because I'm really sick of having to look for my horse. And by my horse, I mean Daniel. Actually, that's just the horse that was left over there. Oh, yeah, like, that's my right. My horse had the Iron Arbor. Who, I, ooh, ooh, I don't even know whose horse this is. Mystery horse. Oh, my God. I used three shovels just to get this little corridor right here. Do you want some sand, by the way? Because I could hook you up with some sand. Sandstone stairs? Uh, I think so, yeah. Oh, I might need to do some of that. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Glass roads. Glass roads. Um, not far fetched, actually. We had a segment. Uh, we had a segment of underground tunnel that we. Uh, um, gave it a glass ceiling because it was underneath the lake. That wasn't as planned out as it could be. But... Cool. A 
ghost town. Oh. Is it full of horses? Yeah, was that in the prairie? If it's in the if it's in the edge of the prairie and the spruce forest, um, then uh, yeah, we were kind of responsible for it being emptied out. And you're you're welcome to to uh, do what you want with it. I don't think we really care that much uh, about it. I I care a little bit about it not exploding because I just recently started renovating it. Oh, okay. So if this is the ghost town between the prairie and the spruce taiga forest. Um, yeah, in the plains, um, yeah, Elena's been renovating that, so don't go too crazy on it. Um. I was gonna try to reimport some villagers to it if I could, um, get a working rail between City 17 and Rohan. So Rohan's the ghost town, and City 17 is the not ghost town? I guess. Naming conventions are a little spotty. They are. Are you in the town? Oh yeah, then that's the ghost town we're talking about. So that is the one that uh, Elena's been sort of refurbishing, I guess. So don't... Yeah, it was a little bloated before, so I unbloated up and made the roads nicer and such. Okay, so I, I don't know. Uh, it's it's up to her how much will is allowed to uh, to change there. I mean, I'm cool with like pretty buildings, and I'm not super cool with giant craters. Is basically the rule here. Okay, pretty buildings cool, giant craters maybe not. Are you in the town, Elena? Uh, no, I'm. I decided to expand that little uh, house I made after all. Okay, because your horse is here, I think. Yeah, I left it in the fenced area. That's actually wise. a good idea. Although one advantage of the desert is it's kind of easy to find things. Easier than the forest, at least. Yeah, easier than the forest. If you need any more wool, let me know. I mean, it might be nice to put a second bed in here, but I think it's pretty okay as is. question is what lies beyond the desert I think that was where the um, Savannah was actually oh Savannah yeah I haven't seen that that's where we got the acacia trees I trust I wonder, I don't remember whose idea it was, but I really like that we went all the way to Savannah, brought back some acacia saplings, and planted it back at the home base. That's like, uh, just showing our exotic affluence that we're able to import something from so far away. It's cute as well rich people did in the Middle Ages, like bring a friggin' elephant over from Arabia or something. Yeah, so far we've started out on just like a sort of coastal island in an oak forest type deal, and then we expanded and um, over a, uh, over a channel, or a strait, I guess you'd call it, um, we got to the taiga, with tall spruce trees, and, um, darker wood, and not that much else different, still very foresty. 
difficult to get around in. And then beyond that is the prairie with the, the grass and the horses and that many trees. And beyond that's the jungle with a lot of trees and a lot of vines. And uh, right now we're in the desert and there's a savanna. We're trying to find a swamp. Where did my horse go? It's not, not always a question. Oh, there it is. Yeah. The horse is the equivalent of a... Oh, sorry about that. Like a desert ATV ride, just... <laughs> Have you ever been out and seen the, uh... Oh my god, there's there's five creepers here. Why? Why are there Wow Ah Six creepers and zombies and a skeleton in armor. Why is this happening? What you is you this? found a place to be. But this is like this was on the path. This is a place we've already been. Why did this happen? Why are there th there's more creepers? Why is going on here? Maybe they were all following you and then gave up. Like, all at the same time? No, that makes no sense. I don't even have it, a narrow. It makes sense. So you, you, were, you caught them all, they all started chasing you along the way, and then at some point, you just got too far out of range of all of them at once. And then they just kind of hung around. They weren't behind me. Well, they were behind you earlier is what okay. I'm proposing. Okay, most of them just blew themselves up. Convenient. Oh, I hear that if you... Um, can have a creeper killed by a spell no! and you can use No! No, don't hit my dog! Oh, it killed my dog. Oh, doggy! My dog was killed by plasma. Oh, I like that dog. That dog was awesome. I had a good dog. You had a good dog, too. My horse died from a creeper. Okay, this is not my day. By, when I say my horse, I mean whosoever horse that was. Mm. Oh well, it's going to take me a long time to get back. <laughs> yeah, but there's village here, you can hang out. Yeah, I guess. Man, what was that? What was that? Why did that have Creeper to happen? Creeper convention. Ugh, that made no sense. She just left him alone. Yeah, that probably. Man, that dog heard your call and warped over to, to find you in the desert. Yeah, I forgot about that. Him. I didn't even know they were fighting. If you could find the savanna, there are a bunch of horse towns there. Really? Yeah, I think that was one of the earlier horse towns we found. Welcome to horse town. Here's a horse. How long does the stream normally go? You know, I don't know. 
We might want to close it down soon, actually. I mean, you know, however long. I'm getting a little like tired. Like two, three hours. I'm hungry. <laughs> Yes, I have been collecting sand. <laughs> and wood, and about a dozen other things. I generally do not like throwing things away unless they come in ridiculous abundance. Like those seeds.
Okay. I do have a mic. Yeah, sorry. I'm kind of running out of energy here. Uh, I did find the ocean on the oh. uh, on the path, and um, oh. I suppose this is as good a place as any to uh, end the broadcast this week because I'm I'm running out of energy and I've got more stuff to do uh, tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's been like a couple hours now. I think that's long enough. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks to everyone who tuned in, which was surprisingly large number of people this time. Um, and uh, this always happens every same time next week, or hopefully next Monday. Uh, it'll be Daniel again, it's 8 o'clock Pacific time. And um, what's what shall we end the show with? What? Oh, that's just a sunrise. Um, it's like, he normally signs off with keep mining and then complains about how keep mining is inadequate, yeah. right? Um. Channel, says who? Give us a follow and check out our YouTube page. Um, oh. Um. Always look after your dog. If you own a dog, give it a hug for me, because I no longer can. Also, if you own a horse, give it a hug, too. You you know, you just missed it. We, I, I lost my dog and a horse in a battle against, like, five creepers, some zombies, and skeletons um, that appeared for no reason. Um, so, yeah, I think that the blowing up's already happened, unfortunately. And, um, anyway, this is Xander. Uh, this is Elena. And also we have Daniel, who was... I don't no, think this is, is... This is Daniel. Oh, I this found your Mark. paper, Bill. Jesus, fuck. And, uh, and Matt is in IRC, although I... This is the first we've seen of him tonight. Um, where am I even walking to? I don't know. I'm out of energy. Have a good night, everyone. And just, you know... See you next week. Do the, um... Say who we are and how to find us in the future and call it a night. Okay. Um, we are Cloudboat Armada. We do Minecraft Mondays every Monday at 8. Coming in uh, this fall, we will do, be doing Indie Games for Good, which is an enormous shindig where we raise money for Child's Play Charity. Um, uh, the, 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 that's, that's who we are. Yeah, I don't actually remember our, our YouTube or Facebook pages are, but we have them. They're probably Cloudboard Armada. You can follow us there. Yep. All right. Good night, everyone. <laughs>